welcome. Oh, that's drinking water. He, she isn't here to welcome you. She's busy. Guess what? I have really good news, Theo. You have really good news? Really you, good news. Okay. So let me. You were just drinking water. I was. <laughs> Are they yes. water related? No. No. Okay. Then I have no guesses. <laughs> okay. There's no drilling and there's no fire alarm. <laughs> And jinx. And now simultaneous fire alarm and drilling. Someone was hammering earlier, but they seem to have stopped. So oh, I'm hoping that that continues talk. to be not happening. <laughs> now someone's just drilling the fire alarm. That would be. <laughs> um, I apologize to everyone who had to deal with that in episode Yeah, there were some nine. people thinking their ovens were done throughout the episode, I guess. Do you have your, like, computer alert sounds turned on when you're streaming? Uh, yes, because I don't know how to turn them off. I also, I think I could probably figure out how to turn them off. I just yeah. haven't. And yeah. I kind of like having them on for, like, myself. But sometimes I accidentally unplug USB things. Yeah, and and people... then my computer tells me that something's unconnected. <laughs> and everyone in the stream is like, I thought it was me. Yeah, and there's a the brief second where you go, were you sitting as an audience going, what happened? Did Was that something on my end? Did something just unplug by itself? And then the streamer goes, oh, no, no, it was just my... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. It was just my foot. <laughs> I wish we still had ICQ. Do you remember ICQ? The What's old... that? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, Alana. In the land before Facebook Messenger and Discord, there was a little thing called yeah. ICQ. That had the old uh -oh. messages when you got, an, when you got a message. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um... That was we, before AIM was and before MSN was, Messenger. Was it Ventrilo had oh, that same sound, I think? Perhaps. Because there was Ventrilo. a couple of, like, voice chat ones from, like, back in the day of yeah. gaming. <laughs> that was, like, Ventrilo. There was another one before that. I don't think it was ICQ, but it had that same sound. Yeah. The, like, uh oh. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if Ventrilo had that. Oh, I, the, the golden days before there was even voice comms when I was starting out playing like video games, mm -hmm. <laughs> where there wasn't even any any voice mods or calls. It was just you text. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm old. that was we better used in some ways. Back I then, think. to send each other. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my fax ma that my fax machine at like my mom's fax machine used to kill our internet? Did I ever tell you that story? I think I've, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was the worst. We'd be, like, playing games online, and then all of a sudden I would just, like, lose inter internet connection. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I just got a fax. Uh, and then and yeah. there you go, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my dad used to How work are you? As an, I'm good. Oh, sorry, I totally <laughs> cut you off. I didn't mean to cut you off. Just, my dad used to work as an interpreter, and he used to get, like, mm -hmm. whole books faxed to him to interpret translate so that, that would be a, a a rough day in the elven household where you hear the facts go for like two hours so. oh that's brutal yeah, yeah, that's yeah my mom used to do like her quotes and stuff like she would quote jobs oh, yeah. and so she would do that all through facts cool. um or like even like faxing drawings to people facts is a very very modern thing nowadays <laughs> There's a lot. it is it is kind of funny though like there are times where I could use a fax machine. Are, are there really where you could go, oh, this would be a lot easier through fax. What in, in your life is easier with a fax? Contracts. PDF and sign Like them? if someone could just fax me a contract oh, yeah. and then I can sign it and then fax it back. And then that way I have a hard copy of the contract. Oh. And like you can you can like virtual sign stuff now, but like yeah. I kind of like having hard copies of things. We don't even have a printer anymore. I think that would be um, your first our printer step. Then, is getting a printer and just, just but, printing. Well, it. yeah, but it's like, but it, but like that would be kind of nice. It would be yeah. kind of nice to be able to like get that document, just like sign it, send it back. I don't know. There's something something about that that would be satisfying. But that's, I, guess, I think yeah. that's the only use case I can really think of. But I mean, fax paper isn't like real paper. Yeah, it is. No, it has that, it's just eight and that, half by 11. that waxy feeling. I think. Or am I misremembering? I think. So. No, I think you're right, but I think it. I think it's only sometimes. Oh, like yeah. it used to be that specific. Because it has paper, the same dimensions as regular paper. Because it cuts yeah. it off at the needed length. 
But mm. the, the, the tactile sensation of holding fax paper wouldn't be the same as holding a... Yes, that is true. But I think they did end up changing it when it was like faxers and... Faxers. <laughs> faxers and scanners. <laughs> I, I, I did a snort. Good. <laughs> Super wow, first. that's very good. For uh, anyone who's too young to know what a fax machine is... It's like a carrier used to have pigeon, a machine. But... <laughs> yeah. You used to have a machine. It was usually just atta- attached to your printer. Like sometimes people's printers would just also send faxes where it would send a document <laughs> over the f- phone line. So you yeah. had to have a phone number that you would, well, it was like a fax number, but you would put that in <laughs> to send a fax to that yeah. specific person. And then you would just like feed the document in upside down and backwards and it would come through the fax machine and then somewhere, somewhere in the world, that document would print out at their house. I mean, so, like, it's is, a weirdly magical thing. Yeah, I was just saying, that's a magic thing. That's a sorceress thing. If you were to tell <laughs> someone like in the 1920s that you can fax things, they would go, what? <laughs> Wizard, <laughs> yeah. And now we go. What? Just send it on disk, or there's a file. There's a weight limit on how big the files can be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I, I guess found I better about go use we transfer <laughs> or spreading. Also, just what? There's spreading. I think it's spreading? the same, same thing as we transfer. I guess. Oh, okay. Where it just sends you a link to the thing. Yeah. Feld uses it for work, I think. And I've used it for, for friends just giving them big projects. Mm-hmm. And our, our and just Google Drive. Having like a virtual shared hard drive is just what? It's bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to it two is. people in their thirties talking about the internet. <laughs> we sound like we're fifty. Work in my day. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the modern things. Google drives. Digital hard drives, I tell you, I tell you. <clears throat> We said welcome to to to. Uh, we said welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got sidetracked <laughs> by something. Because uh, you were drinking water and then you had news. That's why. I did. The news was that there's no fire alarms. <laughs> Knock on wood. That was it. We've we've come full circle now somehow. So welcome to mostly back. finished thoughts. My name is Theodore welcome. Elving. My name is Alana Maddie. Alana Hello. Wilhelmina Maddie. Yeah. yeah, the reveal. Dun, dun, I completely, dun. yeah, I completely forgot to <laughs> talk too. about it. Yeah, <laughs> it's marvelous um, that our, our listeners are that attentive. Yes, going. I figured that the person to guess it would have been Veld or some like so. Veld is Dutch, so yeah. like that oh, makes he, sense. But yeah. I figured it would be someone who was Dutch. Um, yeah. would, would guess it. It's an extremely it also feels vaguely German and Austrian. For me, with Austrian heritage, it feels like, oh, yeah, nothing weird with being Wilhelmina. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's true. But for an American um, or a native English speaker, what? P- pardon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, growing up in Canada, uh, like, both my middle name and my last name were just unspellable and unpronounceable for, like, the people that I knew. <laughs> So that's the one. It was great. It was a good time. I my, I have my mother's surname, uh, and my dad has another different surname, and his name is just weird. I, I won't dox him here, but <laughs> <laughs> and my uh, I have middle names as well. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm named Par, which is sort of like pear. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's in uh, um, uh, my mother's side. All all males are named that in middle name. So my brother's also. How do you par. spell that? P E R. Or P A, okay. uh, uh. <laughs> with the two dots, <laughs> yeah, uh, R, and then I have a middle name from my dad's side as well, which is Alois, which I guess is people usually think it's French, but it's a common name in Austria. Interesting. And in Sweden, when you say my name is Alois, they go, "What, sir? Are you from space?" <laughs> so I could always have my different persona. I could be Alo- Alois, and then that surname. Yeah. Good. So is it? Theodore Par Alois yes. Elfing? Yes. Nick. Did I say oh, it kind I, of I, right? You said it so, so good that I replied, nicely done in Swedish. That's how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> that my immediate reaction was to say snicked, which means nicely done in Swedish. Ah. Uh, um, that's funny. I would, I would love to learn. I would love to learn Swedish. I love languages in general. Yeah. I can speak a bit of Dutch. 
I can speak a good amount of French, and obviously English, but like I'd like to, I'd like to feel Sorry. fluent in things. Yeah. What are you, why are you laughing? I was just <laughs> thinking about the I rustic do? French. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I speak a good amount of rustic French, only rustic, not normal French, obviously. I should really pick up more um, languages as well. It's, a, it's such a fun thing to do, and like dive into someone's someone else's culture and learning things. Mm-hmm. I was using... But like you, you've already done the thing because you have two languages, like very down. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I could speak in French. But I really like, I just, I wish I had more opportunity to practice because like I could just switch into French, Yeah. but I would get stuff wrong just by accident. Like it would be right enough that like someone who doesn't speak English understand would you, understand yeah. what I was saying, but, they'd go, but it but would, would be like this? very messy <laughs> grammatically. Yeah. Not. <laughs> it would not be like great. my German when I try to speak German on stream when I have German viewers because my, my dad mm-hmm. is from Austria. We spoke German at, house, at, at our home. But I can yeah. barely remember. Wow. I understand spoken German, but I cannot reply. German just, is very hard. German yeah, is a lot of sticking uh, a whole bunch of other words together to make longer words. I was going to try to say something about it was very difficult in German, but I only got to very which is sehr, uh, and then. Mm-hmm. That was the end of my German knowledge. I tried Duolingo. Yeah. Did I? I even posted on Instagram because I got so so glad that one of the phrases on Duolingo that I needed to translate was "the bear does not need a closet." De bar. Oh, I always go Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> De bear braucht kein Schrank. But the times where you need to tell someone that no, 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 the bear does not need a closet. <laughs> And for the bear, do we need a king size? No, no, the bear does not need a closet. Oh, Such that's so funny. Everyday phrases. As, as, I think also I have this trouble when I'm trying to translate into Dutch instead of translate into French, yeah. is that I always, as soon as I start thinking in a foreign language, I start thinking in French, like in terms of like sentence structure. Yeah. So if I was to say like the bear doesn't need a closet, like doesn't yeah. need a closet, it would be... Is, will it be like Yoda speak? <laughs> kind of, of yeah. like a little bit. <laughs> My brain just yeah. isn't fun. I don't know, even know what closet is in French. Uh, closet, perhaps. <laughs> isn't, it, <laughs> closet. isn't it a French word? Watch that Mar- be Mar- that. <laughs> no, I don't know. Isn't it a, closet, a French word? Uh, it's just like closet is a French. It's another water closet is... Uh, think? No. Uh, oh, well, they're saying toilet, so they're saying... Uh, like toilet, like closet, like water closet, like yeah. les to- the in toilette would be a clo- would be like a bathroom though. Yes, la petite chambre would be a closet. La so petite? it would be like. Did you say pe- la, la petite chambre? So like oh. the small chamber. <laughs> oh, the little cha- oh, the little chamber. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be called. like. <laughs> I need to go to the little uh, chamber. Leurs <laughs> ne. Leurs ne besoin pas, ne besoin pas un petit chambre. The bear does not need a closet. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, something like that. Oh, man. Ne I, pas I, besoin I... un petit chambre. Sorry, I did it very badly. <laughs> we will get so much hate mail. <laughs> yes. People going, how can you say this? Elena, your French translation was bad. You know what? I was <laughs> under immense pressure. <laughs> it was a gun to my head. I could not translate the gun. Yeah. Uh, it's like, because in French, it's like, you do not have need. So like, oh, je n'ai pas besoin. <laughs> I do not need. do not have need. I do not have need of a closet. <laughs> the bear does not have need <laughs> of a small closet. The little chamber. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Let, yeah. Anyways, there's so many. It's, it's so so much fun as a Swede learning English or like seeing how many common roots there are to words and seeing like how they. What's it called? Etymology, how where words are derived from. That is one of my favorite pastimes. Trying to guess what a word means just from like, it looks similar to this word. It's fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's fascinating. It is. It is truly like, and it's all it's all made up. But the points don't matter. But how we all just oh yeah we're all just monkeys man 
Uh, and and some monkey tribe did something extraordinary this past weekend. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> someone, uh, someone had a very important anniversary. It was you. Yes, I turned. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the. Old- <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I have never been so surprised in my entire life. <laughs> I had to I rewatch the VOD just to. to <laughs> I ghost coming uh, in with a, with a beverage and just sitting on the couch, going no no no, I'm just here to deliver a little something. <laughs> oh. It was uh, so basically. From what I understand, <laughs> about six months ago, six months ago, uh-huh. um, 3.30 and a bunch of the rest of my community reached out to a whole bunch of Twitch pals and got them to cover my songs. Yeah. But like, in full? <laughs> yeah that's some real good production. so like uh, <laughs> get- I was I don't really have where I haven't really talked I haven't really talked about it since it happened because we've it's oh, been yeah. such a busy weekend and so it's it's wild to try and explain but like basically ghost walks into the office during a stream on Sunday I knew I knew something was going on because the mods had asked for a mod appreciation day, which oh, like they that asked never themselves happens. For it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So because apparently I was... screwed up their timing because <laughs> I did the cozy collab the week before, and so they were going to do it that day. But then I had the cozy collab, and I'm like, well, I didn't know anything was happening, so yep. you can't blame me. <laughs> um, but so they asked for that, and I'm like, okay. I don't know what you're up to, but <laughs> there's something. Sure, let's do. I'll play along. I'll bite, but like I couldn't figure it because yeah. I'm like, there's nothing happening. Yeah, I just did my two year Twitch anniversary like a few weeks ago, so like that's done. Like it's not anything to do with like. Um, there's no singles coming out. Like the vinyl's already yeah. out. Like. I couldn't, there was nothing in my head. I couldn't figure what it was. And then on Sunday, I'm like playing some songs and then Ghost walks in with the hard drive and he's like, I'm like, what are you doing? And so I, I had, there was a folder on my hard drive and I had instructions I had to follow within the folder. Oh, yeah. And the first one was like 3.30 had written like a letter. And basically 10 years ago, I released my first EP um, called The Song For My Love. It was five tracks. Um, you say this very off the cuff, but it's really 10 years since your first release, your proper music release, which is huge. Yeah, yeah it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Like, I it, I feel like I was so much younger when I released it, but I was 19. So, like, I was just like, I, it was right out of high school. I finished. I'd finished high school. And then gotten it done does that timeline work out (laughs) i turned 19 the year after high school no that does work out okay so yeah the year after high school i was out of high school so the first year of college i released a song for my love ep 2011 um and i did it all myself that is so cool um yeah i paid for it and put it together and yeah, it was um, incredible. Yeah, it's funny to think about that. And what's funny is like there's so much weird things in my life for things I cross over. But yeah. the studio where I did the EP, where I got it mixed, was on the same street as Ubisoft, where I would end up working like wow. years later. But like I didn't know that at the time. I don't even know if Ubisoft was there yet at the time. But like it's in such a weird area. It's not like yeah. it's in an area where there is anything. It's in the middle of like a neighborhood. Like in, there's like industrial buildings okay, and stuff. Yeah. But like so <laughs> random that on this one random street, you have two. If anyone major... wants to look it up, it's on Wallace Avenue in Toronto. Yeah. You can look at how in the middle of fucking nothing it is. Um, but two major life events happen on that same street. 
Um, but yeah, so like I read the letter. It was very sweet. I was already like going to cry. And then I've seen for a couple of other streamers for like birthdays or what have you that people have put together like mashup videos. So like yeah. I've been in, I think three of them yeah. now for different people where they like they'll send you a backing track and then you sing a couple of lines of that person's like original song or whatever the song is that like they're doing the for the yeah. compilation and then they whoever asked for it will edit it all together so that's like all these different people who have like a couple of lines each and then at the end everyone usually like sings something together or whatever mm -hmm. um is this what you expected <laughs> So that's what I expected <laughs> the night when I saw that that was happening. And I had also noticed that there was just a whole bunch of people in my chat, like yeah. a whole bunch of streamers in my chat. And I'm like, okay, like so there's a video. And then there was a video, but the video was just like a bunch of community members and my friends and family and it was like incredible seeing people I haven't faces. seen in ages. Yeah, it was crazy seeing people's faces. Like it was so cool. It was funny because every time someone waved at me, I had to wave back. Like yeah. it, they're not live in the video, but they would like they would be like, "Hello, Anna," and I'd be like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, couldn't stop myself from waving back, but like. That was really cute. And then the video ended and none of the musicians that were in yeah. my chat at that moment had been in that video. And I knew there was a third folder and I'm like, okay, this is going to be the video. And in my head, I'm like, what are, I'm already thinking ahead. Cause like I'm streaming. Right. So I'm like running yeah. a stream and I'm like, okay, we've watched this. I've read this letter. I've watched this video. There's probably going to be one more video. And then like, what am I going to do afterwards? Like, I guess I'm just going to go back to like playing songs and everyone in chat is like, I'm like, okay, there's one more thing. And everyone in chat is like, lol, 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 lol. Yeah. There's like 200 more things. Like, this, like as though this is it. And like, sure enough, I open that folder and it's 20 individual tracks. Yeah. 20 of them. <laughs> covers. Full. Full songs. Full like, all yeah. of these people did full versions and they're so good they're so good like it was mind-blowing and i'm not i haven't processed it really yet i haven't really i haven't gone back and listened to okay, it again yet my, because i know if i question. do i'm gonna freaking cry yeah. um i just and i did i basically just sat and cried and like cried and also like tried not to cry even though I kind of wanted to cry, but it's like, you know, that like balance. I don't know. Yeah. It's a, it was a, yeah. It's a t <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's my story for the day. That's, that's, that that's all I've got. <laughs> I mean, I mean <clears throat> you, you've done so much in 10 years. You've achieved so dang much. It's, in, it's incredible. Elana is looking at the face of someone who really wants to talk about this and hear how much, how impressed I am about how <laughs> That is the textbook <laughs> face of someone who goes, please, please keep telling me how good I am. I really appreciate this. <laughs> let's, let's leave it at this, that I'm really impressed with what you've achieved in, in, in these in this teen, teen years. It's almost Thanks, teen years. Soon. You. Almost teen years, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And, it's and just continue like, to do. My goodness. I just don't mean to do any of it, Theo. <laughs> I know it just happens. Are you like Bruce Dickinson in that more cowbell? <laughs> oh, I, I yeah. put my pants on one leg at a time, but I go out and make old records. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean to well, do that's it. That's kind of what yeah. it feels like. Yeah. Like it's, good. it's it's as ridiculous as it is. It's like then I would say you're in the correct place. I just do stuff. If yeah. things happen and it, and it turns out the well as, as well as they do, I think you're in the correct spot. Yeah, I would agree. And like just beyond any sort of gratitude that I can put into words, just like <laughs> I can't and I can't believe that no one freaking told me for yeah. six this was this was in February. Like to the point where and Go said this to me like just after it had happened. What is on my desk? Sorry. That's not what Go said to me. Look it's just stuff stuck yeah. to my desk. Um <laughs> Go said this to me like just after he's like Theo didn't get to do one because we asked him late 
because you guys weren't really friends in February. Yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, how weird is that? that is it's like mind. a concept. Yeah. This That's feels crazy. like this has been happening for like, I don't know, indefinite. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's like, this, this is yeah. a new normal. <laughs> Yeah. I'm thinking back yeah. to like April or March where we were not, neither of us were partnered. Yeah. It was still, still the old, the old grind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's incredible. And like 330 mentioned too, he's like, the hardest part was when you were going through all of that with partner and, yeah. and getting rejected and you were so upset. And I had this little Behind thing scenes, that I yeah. could have been like, look, you're so appreciated yeah. and loved and look how good at writing music you are. And he couldn't say it because yeah. <laughs> it wasn't time. And like 3.30 is um, uh, just crazy. He, he's cut from a different cloth. Is that what they say? Yes. <laughs> he yeah, is he, he really is. Such a, I don't know. Is it like a phenomenon of like kindness yes. and, and light and just yes. bringing he the, is a phenomenon. the best out of you and like... <laughs> cheering for 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 what you do when you do good things thank you 330 yeah. for everything you do thank you 330 and you know the worst thing is he hates being thanked so just thank good. him as often as good. possible I will, I will try to do my best as much as he, he promotes your, your patreon and i do as well uh, we, i will now start thanking 330 every chance i get yes yes you gotta do so it. my don't you do majority 330 song that I'm, I'm writing will probably just be saying thanks to 330 Good. Now oh, I yeah. have a topic. Good. Now there I you have. Because if you do me do dirty three thirty, I will thank you. <laughs> Say that five times fast. No. <laughs> if you do me dirty three thirty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Lidosha tried to do something for. Uh, tried to put me on the spot with Aaron earned an iron urn. Aaron. What? Aaron. The name. Aaron. Yeah. Earned. Earned. An iron. An iron urn. Urn. Say that five times fast. Aaron earned an iron urn. 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 This is great Aaron content. Earned an iron urn. Yeah, there's no difficulty, but people are apparently struggling with saying that. <laughs> I had no issue with that. Yeah. That was fine. No, it's um, <laughs> good. <laughs> you did, you toy did boat great. is, I think, the hardest tongue twister for me. Toy boat? Say toy boat five times fast. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> your, mouth just, your mouth just falls apart. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. Become, it becomes Jiddish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Toy boy. <laughs> <laughs> toy boat, yeah. toy boat, toy boat. To- yeah, there you go. Yeah. So it's easy if you say boat toy. Boat toy? Boat, yeah, because yeah. that feels like... Boat toy, boat toy, yeah. boat toy, boat toy, boat toy. But even still, I can feel my jaw and my tongue like fighting it. <laughs> Is that like so a text speech thing as well that it melts your brain? Ugh, or that might yeah. work. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have, you don't have text to speech on your donations? I don't. No. 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 Clever. I, <laughs> yeah, I never, I never set it up, but I also have a lot of trolley donators. Yeah. So. It's also and being like, like, if you can choose what to read the message, I think that's, that's better. And with the yeah. content that you and I do, I think we don't need to have takes the beach. I agree. I agree. That was literally going to be my point was oh. like, when I'm in like a chill vibe, I don't want the text to speech lady. Yeah. Coming in. <laughs> Why can't we do that? being like, yeah. Play Old Town Road. Uh, I had a physical reaction. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're fine. I did something today, by the way. Someone mm-hmm. came in and asked if I knew Tenacious D. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if you, if, you, if you listen to this, if you're familiar with who I am, and uh, that I have no idea who Jack Black is. People keep telling me about but I have never listened to Tenacious D once. <laughs> No. But Phil, Phil was in the room and she said, was, was those the guys who were in Backstreet Boys? Yeah. And I went, I think so. And then I started playing Tributes over the... I, I played I Went That Way but sang the lyrics to Tributes. And then I switched it up and played Tribute and, and sang the lyrics to I Went That Way. Oh it my got gosh. super weird. Uh, <laughs> it was one of those 
of psychotic moments where we're just going, okay, I need to just continue pulling on this thread and see where my brain leads me. Yeah. And then that turned into, instead of Wonder Boy, Venga Boy. <laughs> what is the secret of your power? Wow. Venga Boy's you went you, down yeah. a rabbit hole. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> and then that, that person stuck around. And then then after I was done with all, all my shenanigans, they said, oh, obviously you're not familiar with, with <laughs> Tenacious D. <laughs> In a oh, joking they way. didn't get it at all. Oh, they did. They did, but they still they played the role of. Oh, it was wonderful. I'm so oh. happy. Thank you so much. If you're listening to this, thank you for for making my day. <laughs> I. Oh, did I tell you about the squirrel thing? <laughs> no. Tell me about the squirrel thing. When you exchange the world word girl for the world word squirrel in a song. Oh no, you did tell me about this, but I don't know if you told the podcast. Yeah, about we did it. that on Friday. It was a wild ride, and it's been happening a lot now. <laughs> the, the old temptation song talking about my squirrel, my squirrel, and a lot of all the good songs. And whenever there's a girl in the song now, I exchange it subconsciously to squirrel. To squirrel, <laughs> which wow. is, I guess, a good <gasps> thing and a bad thing. And especially when I go out yeah. playing live gigs again, I will have to keep. <laughs> Real hard rains on my brain, and not just seeing all the made-up lyrics we've made in chat over the year. <laughs> yeah, there I'm are many songs of... that don't have original lyrics anymore. That's Piano Man for me. It's impossible for me to sing that properly. But there's also um, <laughs> what have you changed in Piano Man? The, the whole final verse. The, oh, the whole final word. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because cool. um, it, it's I've changed it to. Whatever day it is, so yep. like, also uh, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good crowd for, for a Sunday. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. The mods, they all give me a smile because uh, they yeah. know that it's me. I They've been coming to see, me, forget name. about yeah. life for a while. Yeah, they forget. Um, they come, it's me. They've been coming to see. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> and they sit yeah. at the bar and put subs in my jar. Oh, I say bits. Bits. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they come from afar and throw bits in oh, my jar. Oh, that is... And say, girl, we're glad you are here. Oh, that is even better, though. Noise. Yeah. yeah. Meow. Except that someone the other day was like, oh, I don't want people's bits in my jar. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, gross. <laughs> I never thought about it. I've been singing it like that for like a year, and I never thought about it I like that. Hearing, give a little bit, give a little bit of your love. <laughs> dun, dun. Oh. Yes, there's someone. I haven't thought about that song in forever. I don't even know. Bow, who bow, bow, bow. Oh, yeah, who is? Is that? Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> it's a good song though. Bow, 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 but I can't bow, for the life of me remember who who sings it. I now sound like I'm sixty. Give a little bit. Is that, is that give awesome? a little bit of your love to me. I'm googling it. Broom, broom. Do you want to make a guess? I'm guessing it's older than I think it is. Uh, it's not Super Tramp, but it's in the same, but older than Super Tramp. No, it's Super Tramp. Tell me, <laughs> it is Super Tramp. <laughs> Super Tramp, yeah. Got it. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. I was I reading it in a reflection of your glasses. No. Oh, no. rude. No, that's impossible to do as well. I'm not. No, I don't. I was going to say, how would you even? It's just album art. I guess if you how recognize you the album even? art. How would you manage that? But I, I would not have guessed at all that it was super tramp but i think i'm thinking of the goo goo dolls version of it do they oh wow Broadway is dying tonight <laughs> give a little bit yeah have go, go, the goo goo dolls made oh yeah i totally know the goo goo dolls version more than i know okay. the super tramp version that's the voice the that i picture he has um, they have some good songs the, the old dolls of goo goo they do. I've got, I think, maybe one or two of them on my list, but I used to listen to a decent amount of Goo Goo Dolls. Iris, Slide, Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Broadway is. Broadway maybe is dark and die. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was my best impression. From that, from that great little bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I have Iris on my list. I could probably do Slide also. What, what, other, what other songs have you changed lyrics to that you know of? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the the main one is um, I think it's Killers. When there's nowhere else to run, is there room for one more son? Oh, that that yeah. song. Uh, at the end, it's supposed to go. 
I got sober, but I'm no. not a soldier. And for some reason now it's I got spice, but I'm not a tater. Nice. I got spice, but I'm not a tater. And now everyone just spams the stupid potato emote in chat. It's not stupid, um, it's brilliant, Elena. I mean Santa. <laughs> oh my god. It's the dumbest emote. Um what other songs have you changed the lyrics to other than everything that says girl? <laughs> Uh, Sweet Caroline is always a struggle trying to remember the correct lyrics. What do th- What do you say? Uh, and in, in the second verse, <clears throat> and yeah, I think it's <clears throat> originally. And when I hurt, hurt, the hurting runs off my shoulder. But now it's turned into. And when I ache, the bacon runs off my shoulder. <laughs> Which is and then people spam the bacon emote and bacon shoulders. And mm-hmm. if I were to play a gig, I'd have to go, okay, so what's the correct trace here? What? <laughs> Where yeah. <should> we... <laughs> yeah. And we had have so you many... been booking more gigs? I've, been, I've actually sent out like 10 emails now to, to venues, which I'm very proud of going. Because I found like the middle way of talking, of going, hello, I've been in quarantine. I'm logging to play in front of a live audience. <laughs> Please consider me for your venue. Yeah. That way it feels more of a, okay, we'll see if it if it... If it comes to fruition, I'm very happy. If if not, I'm very happy with just playing Twitch. Yeah. I was just thinking about it last night, actually, yeah. about trying to, you know, branch out again. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. It's just so weird in Toronto. And, like, I know, like, I wouldn't want to play a show that I have to promote. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I wouldn't want to have to play a show that I sell tickets to unless it's for like a special event. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, just, I'm not even really comfortable with that with COVID at this point. So yeah. I'm just 100% I'm trying more, to find like, gigs that yeah. are like pub. Inter- yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. I want to I want to see if anyone's like looking. We have like a ton of breweries in the city. Yeah. And so I'm like, maybe I can like find one where they do live music and then I can. Because that's perfect. Then you can just have some, some social interaction, like yeah. face-to-face interactions w- with music, which I really miss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's so, funny thinking about like tips. Cause like normally if you'd play these gigs, you'd have like a tip jar, but yeah. no one has cash anymore. No. So it's like, do you have Venmo I would probably... in, in Canada? No, <laughs> no. It, yeah. So I would probably have like a QR code or something that people could scan that would take them to like Ko-Fi or co- like oh, yeah, whatever, and one, yeah. they could like tip me through there yeah. instead. Um, because that would that would work and it's easy. <laughs> when I worked in in Copenhagen at the bars, if Copenhagen Copenhagen is just thirty minutes from from where I live, but they have a different different mm-hmm. currency there. So and and they, what's the currency there? Uh, Danish krone, Danish crowns, and we have Swedish Svenska kroner, Swedish crowns. <laughs> okay. So there, but our twenty bills for them are mm-hmm. coins, and they are worth like thirty Swedish crowns, which is like three dollars. So every every one of those <laughs> twenty Danish krone is equivalent to three dollars in the jar and like my first night playing people were just throwing coins in the bucket and i went okay thank you for giving me like a few cents which is a <laughs> shitty thing to do to think but like <laughs> mm-hmm. and then i looked mm-hmm. into the jar at the end of the night going holy these are 20s <laughs> fun fun times for for young mr elving <laughs> yeah that's really, that's cool it's pretty I don't know, it's pretty obvious but is here tipping when, like... the musicians common in in, in canada do you have yeah. tip jars? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't. We have tip jars. We at all. Never. Really? Or very rarely we have tip jars at live gigs. Well, I think it's often because our gigs aren't unpaid. So the bar oh. will pass a jar around okay, so well, that the audience count. will pay for the entertainment instead of the Which bar having weird. to pay. Like the bar will give you like two free drinks or something. And then that is so weird. They'll be like, yeah, and then you can pass a tip jar around. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> Yeah, unless you're charging like a cover fee, which yeah. then that's entirely on you. But yeah, so yeah, the pubs uh, here they they, they pay like they pay properly, and you send an invoice, and then you supply entertainment for the evening. Yeah, see, I'd rather do that, and that's yeah. kind of what I'm looking for. To be honest, is like if I'm reaching out to these places, I want to be like, hey, <laughs> pay 
pay me a hundred bucks. I'll play for like two, three hours yeah. and we'll, we'll have a good time. Do. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I had so many people reach out to me during COVID to come and play house parties, which I used to, to do a lot more before. Yeah. Which is such, such a weird thing. Have you played house parties? Not living room concerts, but like playing someone's birthday party that you've never met? Were they. No. It is such an intimate thing. <laughs> When you're brought yeah. in to stand in the corner and entertain them whilst they're having a buffet. That's so odd. And it's always like, they try to book you for an hour. And then I go, okay, so so when the hour is up, so yeah, okay, yeah. And it usually turns into that I'm playing more. And then usually people pay as, as well for, the, for uh, having more music. But it's such a weird getting to know people in their own home. <laughs> playing yeah. music for them and their friends. And you don't know them. You don't know their preferences. And they just tell you, well, you're the professional. You'll figure it out. And you go, okay. <laughs> and then uh, and then it's always fun, though. It always ends in a, in a very happy note. But, like, my, my anxiety and dread just... I j just had a flashback, like, sitting in the chair <laughs> for, like, an hour before the game going, why, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> and that is, that is dread. Yeah. Anywho. The, the last gig that I played before covid yeah. was a house concert oh yeah um put on by the husband of one of my parents friends and he like does oh. these house concerts yeah. like often but it was a super weird vibe <laughs> and i super wouldn't do it again oh. not like i would do it somewhere else but i wouldn't do his again he's oh, yeah. just like i don't know i don't even know how to explain what this gig was it was just so <sighs> Was it a weird? So odd. Was it a weird expectance from the audience? Were they not ready for music? No, the audience was fine with it. It was just one of those situations where it's like, I knew that not a lot of my friends were going to come because it's in the middle of nowhere, oh. like in the city, but like in yeah. the middle of a like neighborhood, in were a house the that they're unfamiliar <laughs> with. <laughs> That'd be weird. Um, like in a house that they're not familiar with and like the guy who runs it is like, he's a like middle-aged guy. Yeah. So like, that's kind of a weird vibe. So I knew it was going to be mostly older people. And it was also like tickets were sold in advance. It was cheaper if you bought a ticket in advance than if you just showed up yeah. and like bought it at the door. And so like my best friends came like our, like, like some of our best friends were there. But other than that, it was all, like, my parents' friends, which is, like, exactly what yeah. I expected and was totally fine. Like, it, there was still, like, 20, 30 people there, which was wow. nice for, like, a living room. Yeah. But after the show, true to Toronto music scene form, he's like, well, it's not as full as I've seen it. Thank you, dude. <laughs> and, like, he had to... T and, like, the creepiest part of the whole thing was that, like, he pulled me aside to like take me to the basement Pardon? where he was counting the money from the, the ticket, show yeah. like as though i needed to witness that the split was correct because he took 50 percent of the yeah. the fee yeah. or i don't actually remember if it was 50 percent but he took like a decent amount of it, which is fine. Like it's his yeah. house. Like he has to do a lot of the work. There were like snacks and stuff, which was wow. nice. Like it was cute. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't mind splitting it. But it was more just like you could have just handed me an envelope and been <laughs> and like, would have fine, and "Here's I would have your cut." You. But yeah. instead, it was like, "Hey, you need to come downstairs like, with me." It sounds like a, like a drug where he could tell me that like I didn't hotel. bring enough people yeah. to his house and then uh, show off his instruments and. Uh bask in how like, how cultured i am and i bring in the okay yeah, yeah that kind look of how deal. cool i am <laughs> what's your worst gig experience um, i mean that one's up there <laughs> but it was but no not really that one was fine um i don't know i think my my worst gig it depends because gigs can be bad for different reasons. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 right? I don't mean like your performance wise. I'm I'm, I'm thinking most like oh, overall okay. setting ambience when when it's when someone thinks oh it would be good to have music here, like mm -hmm. live music, and they they didn't stop to ask is it possible, <laughs> or someone yes. I I played 
for a uh, a <laughs> like Walmart in Sweden, like a grocery okay. store chain uh, that had like their whole uh, warehouse staff were being shuttled around on buses, and I played on one of the buses, duct tape to a chair, <laughs> so I could wow. entertain them whilst they were 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 getting drunk, uh, <laughs> and. That that was like my job for five hours. We were just shuttled around different <laughs> places here in Sweden, and th they also brought them to a field where there was a little like a pavilion tent, just a little one of yeah. those pop up tents. And in that tent, there was the poorest person I've seen, a stand up comedian, who had the ungrateful task of making these people laugh, and. They didn't even listen from the get-go. They were just in there smashing oh. beers. <laughs> he was trying to go, wow. well, what's the thing with... It was uh, me and the other guys who were on the buses playing. We all looked at each other going, like, we, at least we don't have that job. Yeah. So that was a weird gig. <laughs> yeah, that's a really weird one. I definitely can't, I definitely can't top that. Um, oh, that. <laughs> trying to think of... I've played some, like, weird... So I, I played, <laughs> so this was, this was a weird one because they asked, so we have like a, a festival called Fringe Festival every year. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I think that's a global thing. I think there's fringe festivals all over the place, but it's, it's like yeah. a, like a, an acting thing. Like it's usually like plays, oh, yeah. um, like usually in a lot of independent plays. And so there'll be like a whole bunch of stages and like performance places that will participate in fringe. I think I'm right. If I'm wrong, someone will correct me, but that's my understanding of fringe. But there was, they asked me to come play, but didn't really tell me <laughs> where I had to be. So what? I had to be like outside in this like specific area there was like a, um, so we used to have this place called Mervish Village, um, which was close to a bar that I used to play at, which is I think how I got the gig in the first place. Uh. But it was this neat like alleyway. There were some like theaters and stuff in there. Um, but I didn't really know where I was supposed to be playing. And so like I showed up, there was like no one there to like tell me where to be. So I just like set up somewhere and then someone came out and they're like, Hey, you're not supposed to be playing here. I'm supposed to be playing here. And I'm like, uh. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I'm playing as part of like fringe. This is where they've like told me yeah. I need to be playing. They're like, Oh no, you're like around the corner in the alleyway. It was literally an alleyway <laughs> where people were like walking in and out of this like area, oh, God. but there weren't like a ton of people walking down there. And then like the worst part was that my husband's parents came because they just wanted to come and like watch me play. Yeah. And I'm like, this is going to be a really, and I told them in advance, like, I don't really know how it's going to be. It's going to be a really weird time. And so it was even worse because it was like, we're just, standing here like please go get a drink somewhere yeah. and i will continue to stand and play in this alleyway oh it was very 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 strange i think that's got to be the the weirdest <laughs> one other than like the wedding that i played that was a million degrees and i didn't have shade and i had to play in the no. middle of a field no and i was sweating so much like the sweat was running down the back yeah. of my legs and I had to like have a leg crossed over because I'm playing the ukulele, so I have to like have yeah. it like resting on my knee or on my thigh. Yeah. And then they took forever to finish signing their papers as well, so I had to like <laughs> replay like one of the songs. Like I just kept like riffing on it kind of at the end, but yeah. that was. Oh, so I God. wouldn't say that was the worst one by any means, because it was fine. It was a wedding, but it was just so hot. I was so damp. Conditions were not perfect. <laughs> No, no, conditions were warm. One of my all-time worst gigs was <clears throat> I, I played a festival. A festival went great. And the dude approached me afterwards and I went, my dad's birthday is next weekend. Could you come and play at his birthday party? And I went, of course, I can do that. That sounds like fun. So uh, he, he, I took the bus to where they lived. He picked me up at the bus station and then he drove me to their house. And they had like a huge, huge house with a big patio on mm -hmm. the back. And then he said, you can stand here and play. Uh, so I was, if you picture a, a, like a square patio, I was in, in the leftmost corner. <laughs> the guests were facing the rightmost corner, <laughs> opposite side of me with their backs turned to me for 45 minutes whilst they were mingling. 
single oh. worst experience I've had playing music in my entire life. Oh. There were, the, some some people turn around and like do the thumbs up, going, "What a nice thing to have some culture at this party!" And then they turned back around. <laughs> and then I was left to my own device, going, "Okay, am I doing oh. a bad job? Are these people just not interested? Is this?" And, but the hosts were they were super satisfied with what I what I brought. That's good. That yeah, was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> we. We played, so I played this weird gig. Oh man, it's weird. You don't think about these things and then it suddenly comes back. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I played this strange gig with my friend Kel. Oh. Um, and we went together. We got hired to play as like mid entertainment for some kind of old person convention. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I like, I literally have no idea what it was for, but we had to go in and play songs. And so we'd like, we prepared we practiced and prepared a lot yeah. in advance but we did a lot of like mellow stuff just because like i don't know we're like i don't want to play anything that's going to be like weird for the old people <laughs> like so we 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 played some like oldies but we it was mostly mellow like yeah. it was pretty pretty chill like really nice like pretty songs and then we played a couple of bangers and the guy was like, oh, yeah, I was hoping your whole set was going to be like that. Tell me that. So beforehand. we just bored them all. Like, I remember there was, like, one, like, old lady in her, like, 80s at the back was just, like, falling asleep through the whole set. Uh, but it's like, if you don't tell me what you want, we're not going to know. Oh, God, yeah. We had, uh, I played a hotel with a friend, and that was, like, their hotel lobby. Uh, and this was one of my first... Oh God! I didn't negotiate the deal. Uh, it was th one of the single worst deals I've had so, so far. Uh, oh no! <laughs> and we were supposed to play for four hours between the two of us. So, like that is that's fine. Four hours isn't that long. Uh, but five minutes before we start playing, the the the, the manager comes up and goes, <clears throat> Dude, "Guys, uh, only English songs tonight, right?" And as a Swede. <laughs> I guess it would be the same as you, someone telling you, uh, Alana, only French songs tonight. Going, did, did, you, did you just tell me five minutes before I go, go live that I'm supposed to play only English songs for four hours? Thankfully, I have six hours worth of English music, but still, it's such <laughs> a weird request to do. The yeah. same dude would come up to us whilst we were playing going, uh, you need to play more up-tempo songs. Dude, you... You don't know. <laughs> I, yeah. I do this for a living. I can tell. Like these, these people do not want to dance at the moment. And if I try to force them to dance, they will leave, and then you will lose customers. Oh, I, oh, a little, a little spice there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the feeling. Of, I like it. I like being, the uh, spice. <laughs> yeah, I miss. Um, I think the only gig that I that I truly miss when I think back to like yeah. playing live is I had a residency at a place called the Gladstone hotel, um, for a while. Yeah. And that was really nice. It was like three hours. They paid me to play mm -hmm. and people seemed to like genuinely appreciate it. And it was like dinner music, like dinner yeah. and bar music. And I was so happy to just like sink into the background. But I remember so many people like taking my picture yeah. or like being really kind and like coming up and talking to me afterwards. And like, they never had any complaints. They never have any issues. Cause it was just like, I could read the room. It's like, yeah. I know yep. <laughs> that I shouldn't be making like a ton of noise. And like the audio person who was working was always really nice. Yeah. And so like, it was, it was usually pretty, pretty low key and, and easy. I was just in control of doing what I wanted to do. And you know, like that was a nice, that was, that wonderful. was, that was a really nice one. Well, yeah. We had a, we were playing at a, at a pub, me and a friend and the manager just before we started playing, this was fantastic. If you're a manager of the place, do this, but do this before when you book an <laughs> act, you tell them this, the moment you book them, he said, guys, remember that this is not a concert. This is entertainment. So if you're here to play your own songs and be like trying to fulfill yourself, this is not the right venue for you. <laughs> and I went, that's perfect. Cause now I know what's expected of me. So I, I'm, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I personally would be a little bit pissed if <laughs> I couldn't play my because own music. Because you have good original music, but you could, you could play your own. Of course, if you, if you were to play it as a part of a set. I think that's what he meant. Yeah. But they'd have people there who like said, yeah, well, we play, we play covers and they would play their own, like, 
introverts things only based on a minor and e minor for three oh, minutes and you go yeah. oh this right. is cool yeah. i mean like that, that makes yeah. sense <laughs> yeah that that would definitely make sense i and like i would never do it if it didn't like fit the fit yeah. the vibe of like what was going on but yeah th- that would definitely i don't know i would be a little but like what? you're kind of right though because it's like I never just played knowing music. what the expectation is is nice i never played original music while playing gigs this is my dirty secret wow yeah, it's not a secret anymore. So I've, <laughs> so I, <laughs> Twitch was my first endeavor, like playing my real music, uh, which is weird, because uh, mm-hmm. I never thought felt confident in like singing my own songs. But now I'm, I'm looking forward to like sneaking them into the set list. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need to make I some more. Say songs, I more feel confident songs. sneaking my songs into. To sets, it's like well, you I'm either there such... to play covers or I'm there to play originals. But and like also... the Gladstone gig, I think was the only time that I was yeah. like, "Oh, I'm gonna like sneak my originals in." Whereas like if I'm playing like a wedding or something, I'm never gonna. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, depending on the venue. But I mean, you also have such a vast, or uh, your <laughs> your catalog is mm-hmm. you have different genres of songs that could fit yeah. to different situations. Yeah, totally. Um, which I'm glad. Well. Sorry, moving a stool and it made a lot of noise. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Good. For, I think that's that, that's good for you. Yeah, that you've I'm looking forward been able to, to do that now. And now, when you play gigs, do you play originals? No, <laughs> I haven't really had the you opportunity. You should. I, I'm gonna go into that as soon as I have like a pub thing. I'm gonna play some original songs. Yeah. And just sneak them in there. And, if, 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 in. and if they don't like them, I can just say, oh, this is an obscure Bob Dylan song. You don't have to really care about this. Well, exactly. <laughs> like, you can kind of assume that people, like, know every song that you're playing, yeah. but they probably don't. They probably don't like, care. They just want to drink beer and sing along. That's correct, yeah. There's or a they Swedish just want to drink beer and had... ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Swedish comedian who was on, on, on TV talking about, like, how drunks, how drunk Swedes are, how they behave mm-hmm. when they're, like, an after ski or that pub like they want to hear two songs they want to hear proud mary and they want to hear looking out my back door and they want to hear those two songs on repeat for the whole evening what's the the second one (laughs) also credence or no uh, bad moon rising but uh, if you're if you're in sweden and you're true and you play credence you'll have a good you're gonna have a good time and people are gonna love you credence are huge in sweden (laughs) and as soon as people get plastered they only want to scream when I was in a little baby, my mom used to rock me in the cradle in the old cotton fields back home, but in a weird, in the weird accent where I'm from. <laughs> that is like the litmus test. You can see how drunk people are. If you go, when I was, then you'll hear an echo of, <laughs> of drunk people. <laughs> and depending on how, how much they slur their words, you'll hear how drunk they are. If yeah. you're ever in Sweden, try that, listeners. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're That's a weird great. folk. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what. I think if you if you went to a bar in Canada and you just said, "If I had a million dollars, <laughs> you'd get a bunch of people in the back yeah. going." If I had that is such a great dollars. song, though. I love that song so much. Oh yeah. Since uh, maybe, not being Canadian, I, I guess I. <laughs> are you tired? I mean, of that's song? fine. You're allowed to. Are you Are you mm-hmm. tired of the song? I think a lot of people are tired of the song. I don't mind it. It doesn't really bother me. But, I like, I know that one scrubs. would probably get people, people would get into it. I heard it in um, Scrubs, and I'd never heard it before. And I went, what is this? It's such a catchy tune. Like, yeah. I was 20 when I first heard it. I imagine if you've, if you've heard it since you were a child, it doesn't have the same magic as a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's different. I, I, have, I don't know. Like, we still have the same, like... For us, it's like Sweet Caroline. Like, I'm thinking about, like, what happens at a wedding that everyone goes crazy for. Like, Sweet Caroline, everyone's got to do the bop, bop, bop. I want to go to Canada and be at a wedding. Wow. I would never I never played Sweet uh, Sweet Caroline before Twitch. That isn't a song in Sweden. No one knows Sweet Caroline here. Really? Yeah. Everyone knows it here. Yeah, I've, that's what I've understood. <laughs> like, yes. Yes. If, if you go up to a random clean and go, yep, spam. Do they reply? Yeah. Wall oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they would. They would know that. Absolutely. That's a citizenship. Citizenship. Yeah. Citizenship test. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Um, I was going to ask you a question. It just completely. F- I am very sorry. Fleed my brain. It's okay. Was it about? Fleed. Fled. Fled. Fled? Left. Le- 
is no longer in my brain. Exodus. I think I, I wanted to ask you what some of the like best gigs you were, just to like oh. flip it around. Oh. oh, to be optimistic. Hmm. One of the best resolutions to a gig was when one of my friends got married. And you they just told that. Is this the story that you were like? It was like last minute. No. That okay, was yeah. sorry. No, this was different just uh, <laughs> yeah, different friends. <laughs> no, they got married on Midsummer's, uh, and we we brought the whole band. And we played their their reception. We played for six hours. It was it was a a hoedown. I think I think there was a thousand beers being consumed by a crowd of a hundred people. Wow! <laughs> it was it was wild, and uh, so they they <clears throat> they rented a whole uh, what is it called Boy Scouts of America. Mm -hmm. it, this, is, this is also a thing in Sweden, like the scouts, and you yeah. can rent their cabins and like their whole their whole things. So they did that. For, oh, that's so which is cool. quite cheap. So there was like huts yeah. and, and cabins to, to be in, and there was also a lake. <laughs> so at four in the morning, the whole wedding party, everyone went down to the lake to have like a midnight or a four in the morning swim. Mm -hmm. And I sang a song from a, a Swedish musical called Ronja. Uh, this is after Lingren, same person wrote Pippi Longstockings. Okay. It's a very uh, word. <laughs> and everyone knows what? that in Sweden because we sing that as, as kids. And we got everyone to sing along, like a hundred people just standing at the lake in the middle of the morning. Like, oh, it was glorious. That was oh, one of the best that's gigs. amazing. I have goosebumps just thinking about moment. that memory. Yeah. I've got like a huge grin on my face. Yeah. That would be so cool. It would be so cool. It was so much fun. Yeah. What's your what best magical moment? Best gig. <sighs> <laughs> you know, I haven't had any. I don't know. I don't know. I played some really good shows with my band. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Um. I think maybe one of our best ones we played. It wasn't magical like what you said, but I mean, it was magical in its own way. We played this really stupid Battle of the Bands thing oh. where we had to like sell the tickets, but then yeah. we didn't get any of the money from the tickets. It was just one of those like, and then we, we got to the final and then we didn't win the final. And the only reason they gave us is because we didn't bring out enough people. Classic Toronto gig <laughs> thing. I swear to God, I've lost count of how many times this happened to me. Yeah. Um, and it just every time it happens, every time I like complain about it, I'm just like I just am outing myself for not being popular and no one liking to come to my shows, um, which is not true. It's that <laughs> you can't gain a following if you're playing your friends every time, and so I can't yeah. bring my friends if you out. Your friends to pay you know, for if your, there's no yeah. other people there to play to, <laughs> then I don't know what yeah. you expect. Anyway point being we went to this battle of bands thing and the first night like when we played the semi-final it was so cool man it was like it was like the <sighs> biggest venue we'd ever played it was quite busy because shocker we'd brought out a crap ton of people and so like uh -huh. when we were going to play the final not that many people came out because they'd already come to the semi it, so like oh, why uh, would they come to the final They'd just seen us play, like, this venue. But, like, it was the first time that I'd played somewhere that had, like, lights. Oh, so, like, there was yeah. someone doing, like, cool lighting stuff the whole time. The audio was so good. Like, the sound was so good. It was just such nice. a big stage. And, like, we had practiced so hard for this gig that we yeah. were so in sync with each other. Um, and it was just, it, it was so, it was so good. It was such a good show. I think that's, I think that's my favorite, my favorite show that I've played up to this point. Wow. That's not, yeah. Yeah. My it's see, like, it's, that doesn't think, like, it's a good show, but with, like, a bad surrounding. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's good, but then it's got this, like, shitty exterior to it, so it can't be only good. I played with a, with a friend who I think I'm going to try to bring on to Twitch as well. He's, he lives in the same town. We, we played, like, American folk for a while together. Mm -hmm. And we booked a gig. We met at a folk festival and we started jamming and playing Towns Van Sand songs. <laughs> And then we started hanging out, and then we played a gig at a cafe in the park, um, and it, there was a huge turnout for this like little cafe, outdoor, right, packed with people, and I and I recorded that on my old Zoom who, that got stolen. But like you could hear a, someone drop a pin. <laughs> it was completely quiet, and we wow. had for once practiced everything, and there were harmonies, <laughs> and there was like a set list, and we had like in between. And it was it was magical. Yeah. I want to do more more of those things. 
that would be fun like having a showcase of like having these songs and telling a story presenting it. Mm -hmm. hmm. yes this is what i will work on tonight haha -ha. i will sit down and uh yes cool i haven't thought about that in a while that would be a good thing to do like having a proper program like 45 minutes of songs going hello i have a story to tell <laughs> yeah i mean that'd be nice <laughs> that'd be nice that'd be nice would it be nice yeah uh, do you know what i started doing nice i was i was bored planning. the other day uh, and when bored. i'm when i'm yes. bored i usually just doom scroll but i've since i've okay. stopped doom scrolling but you you've how okay so I've stopped, for the journal for the journal i have stopped. Right, have you put the apps back on your phone yet no no apps good for you no apps at all i, I mean i have mm -hmm. youtube app yeah, yeah. so I, I sat down i went hmm i would I, I can't draw i wish i could draw it felt my wife is a wonderful artist she can draw and she can create things from her mind and i thought 3d modeling there should be some kind of way for me to figure out how that works, like with tutorials. Yes, there are. And so I found a tutorial in Blender, and I made my first donut in Blender. It's so much fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blender's great. Yeah. I messed around with Blender a lot a while ago when I had more free time. It's something that I would like to get back yeah. to, <laughs> like to do so, more of. So yeah. We have, we have uh, diametrical issues, or <laughs> I have too much time, where I just go... <laughs> Burp, derp, 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 derp. I should do something productive. Oh. I should be doing something with all my time. I wish. Would you like to take some of my things? I off am good. My thank plate? you. Please and thank you. I am very. And I was supposed to record oh. the video this weekend as well. We talked about that last time. I was supposed to record mm -hmm. a video to my own song, but I had yes. the, the I had the shakes, man. I had the shakes from the from the from the vaccine. I was completely. Oh right! You got your second vax. I got yeah. riggedy, it's riggedy. Rough. Yeah, I. I, I uh, yeah yeah it's so like really thirst i got it on thursday the night mm -hmm. from thursday to friday i had like shivers like fever what's it called when you're just shaking yeah just the shakes Shiver, the sh yeah. Yeah. and then friday i was just just, just tired and i was just on, on the couch and then saturday mm -hmm. i was i've never felt that lethargic in my entire life Really? It lasted so long for you. It, for for both me and Ghost, it was like 24 hours. Oh, it and was, then, it was boom, wild. Because we I've, I've heard about like yeah. COVID fatigue. Have you heard of that as well? Like mm -hmm. people feel like they have no energy left. Yeah. And Saturday, like my brother takes me, should we, we want to go for a hike in the forest? And I went, I would love to, but I, I, I can't. I, I There yeah. is literally no energy. And I've never felt that void of, because you can always muster up some sort of... Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's as soon as i get out i'll feel better it was just i no, i can't it felt like yeah when you when you're sucking on a straw trying to drink water from a glass that sound in the bottom that was my my energy <laughs> where you can just hear that it's empty it's, there's nothing happening that was fun yeah. <laughs> so, so, so for people so for people who are really lacking spoons i i now have a deeper understanding yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but then I have to do stuff anyway, so then I just end up sucking on air and <laughs> making that God sustain awful. me anyway. Is it? Yeah. Um, it's not good. It's, it's very, very exhausting. Um, so <laughs> I remembered something I wanted to talk about earlier. You had said said something about your secret, your secret of not ever playing original music. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it's not going to be a secret now because you told me it's a secret. Yes. So I've had to do all of these interview things oh. for PR. Yeah. Um, for this like company that's releasing my music in the UK. I'm so, I'm so, so sick of interview things. It's just the laziest journalism because it's they sometimes sometimes they'll take my answers and yeah. they'll work it into like a piece that they'll do okay. like they'll they'll write their own piece their own review on the yeah. song and then they'll work in my answers to have like quotes in the piece and yeah. then it's great but there's a bunch of them that just like literally copy paste what they asked and what I answered and then they put it online <laughs> done and that's it yeah perfect. done it's like who's reading that yeah there's one i answered last night one of the questions was 
What's an album you own? First of all, what year is it? Um, what is an album you own that you'd never admit to? Oh. And I'm like, okay, I can see what you're going for yeah. here. The guilty but pleasure. But if I huh? never admit to owning this album, why would I tell you? <laughs> because I'm a journalist, buddy. We, we, you, yeah. Like, it's just like the wording doesn't make sense. You so, know, like, so it's el- like, what, like, it could have been, what is an album that you own that you're ashamed of? Yeah. Or what do you listen or to on like, Spotify that, that you do? You, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it could have been, but it's just like, first of all, people don't own albums very often anymore like <laughs> that's just not a thing that people do unless they're like they buying something specific vinyls, off Bandcamp vinyls. or vinyls like that's like but otherwise people are listening to things on streaming services yeah for sure it was just a bad question but it's also just like that you would never admit to that you would never admit to owning just that wording it's like but if I would never admit to it then why would I then I'm what like I don't know it's just it's just lazy it's just lazy it's lazy writing it's lazy journalism and like I'm happy for the like little bits of exposure I guess and I was cheeky in my response as well I was like well if I tell you then I have to kill you I've admitted to it (laughs) yeah Yeah. like but yeah I'm just I wonder how how many times people get to tell that joke I I could tell you but I'd have to kill you (laughs) Oh, I'm probably a lot. Like, oh, it just looks just... like someone drained all of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have so many other rants about that company, but I don't want to air them. You don't want to air them right now. That will be uh, in six yeah. months. We'll have the, the wrap up episode of. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Right, yeah. Remind me in six months <laughs> to, to, to do an expose episode on yeah. my full experience with these people. Because, would, like, that's the thing is that we're, we're so early right now that, yeah. like, I don't want to Have you thought about doing anything, video like, essays? Like, solid. Um, yeah. I, so I really like watching video essays. I yeah. think that's, like, 90% of the content that yeah. I watch on YouTube. Even if it's something I don't really care about. Yeah. I love video essays. Yep. Um, so I've thought about it. So you can really make a video essay about. about how it is to release a new single. Mm. Or being in the middle of like having a production company that you're, that is that's helping you and like the Twitch. Cause you have a very, very unique viewpoint. Yeah. And you are also I'm in very, a weird spot. Uh, en- enchanting and people, enthusiastic people listen to you. So I think that could be good. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do that. If, if, if you're I, looking for more work, I mean, I, I don't need. Yeah, thanks, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> I needed something else to add to my yeah. add to my plate. Um, I'm actually so excited for October. I'm so excited yeah, for off? like all of my contracts to be <laughs> over. Yeah, yeah. And like, it is a little bit terrifying, obviously, because like, I i'm getting money from the contract yeah. that i'm doing but like i mean i won't i'm not going to get it until i'm done anyway so yeah. like that doesn't really matter but it's more that it's like i'm gonna have time yeah i'm gonna have time to just like not even necessarily take on more projects but like i'm excited to just like do nothing do nothing. Read a book for a bit. Drink coffee. Like read tea. a read a book. Like I'm excited to stream. Yeah. Finish streaming. And like hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like finishing streaming and being like, okay, it's time for I next... can sit down for 15 minutes and then I gotta go do the yeah. next thing on my to do list. Like, are you I'm going so to stream during to your time off? Not do that. No. No. No, I'm not. Okay. Good. Um, I'm taking two weeks off. It looks Good. like we're gonna go to Halifax. Oh. Um. So like, That's I'll probably Canada. stream. Yes. Is that where? Is yes. that where Charlie lives? No. Yes. So I, remember, I will probably stream I with Charlie, and wow. I would also like to, like, vlog the trip. Do it. So like, video it, yeah. and so like, it's for Patreon later, so yeah. I can have some content for that, and cool. like. Cause I think that would be, that would be pretty cool. Like a little like travel vlog, bring my camera with me wow. and do that. Um, but not, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stream. I was, I was worried for a bit. I mean, going, I could just, I could just squeeze in like a little, little stream. Just <laughs> no, no, you need, 
No, no. And I thought, like, I thought about it too, because it's like Ghost is going to have to work while we're away. Yeah. Um. So he's going to work from the Airbnb that oh, we're yeah. staying at during the week. So, like, I would technically have time if I wanted to, like, stream. But I don't want to. I want to take. I want to take the actual time take off and walks, then come walk back. Walk with Clive. Look at nature. Yeah. yeah exactly. I want to just go and explore the city. I'm going to go see Charlie. Yeah. Like, it's going to be. It's going to be a nice time. That sounds wonderful. Mm-hmm. What's coming up for you in, in in the that should probably that could be a a segment by the way. What's coming up for you in the in the current in the coming week? Do you have any plans? Jesus. Um. Yeah. Um, yep, the beginning comes out on Friday. <laughs> uh. So by the time yeah. you hear this, it'll have been out for a week. Yeah. Um. Which reminds me that I want to talk to Theo about our podcast timing <laughs> yes um by the time you listen to this it'll have been out for a week um but please go and listen to it because it's not just about the release day it's about listening to it whenever yeah. you are able to listen to it so it's called the beginning um it's a really cute song i don't write cute happy songs very often but it's a cute it's Wonderful. a cute happy song yeah. um yeah, that's what's happening for me this week. What's happening to you this week? I am going to record another tutorial tomorrow for about finger picking nice. basics. So I've sat nice. down and written the scripts. And tomorrow I'm going to sit down and, and talk and take nine million cuts of me saying, hello, hello. <laughs> hi, have you, have you tried? <laughs> it's when you try to do me <laughs> one go and not have yeah. it cut up and you have to yeah, have one coherent sentence. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, then I'm going to record Kebab, hopefully, this weekend. And yes. also possibly have a little, have a little uh, celebration stream on Saturday, a scrubs scrubs themed stream. So when you listen to this, this would have happened already. But um, I've. Are you celebrating ten thousand followers? Ten thousand followers. I have purchased. Holy moly. I have purchased a getup. I have I have bought scrubs. Oh my gosh! So I bought proper scrubs, so I'm gonna be playing songs from Scrubs, wearing scrubs. That's great. Yep. I like that a lot. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Um, that and mask does not look like it will actually fit you. No, no, it's uh, meant for this. Was one size fits all, but not trolls, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it, it looks even, just. It looks like it's just yeah. gonna cover your mouth. It was. It was tight on Fell's face as well, and she is. She is tiny. Yeah. Um, and I started playing Ori and the Blind Forest on stream yesterday. Fun. Which I gotta was, get back into gaming streams at some One point. of the worst experiences I've had in a game in a long while. Really? The interfa- because of the interface, you couldn't toggle this to be exclusive full screen. Oh. <laughs> so if I was weird. pulling my mouse too far to the right, I'd click outside yeah. of the gaming window and I'll tab the game and pause it. Oh. I would say m- m- my immersion was broken several times. Yes, yes. <laughs> and apparently there's also supposed to be a cursor in the game that did not appear. appear. Right? Uh, and I thought, okay, so there's no cursor, and and then you're supposed to to dash and and shoot through the air and and like aim, and it was impossible yeah. to aim. And I thought, okay, I'm just being bad. Am I not understanding the game? Oh that gosh. was two hours in. <laughs> ah. So yeah, it was fun. It was, the, the game is brilliant visually and audio, but yeah, um, <laughs> that's cool. I haven't played it, but Ghost has. I've been watching him yeah. play, helping him a little bit. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else is happening for me this week, like other than the release. I'm streaming. You're streaming. But I'm not celebrating anything. I'm not You're just doing a week. anything special. We're just, You're just doing having a week, normal Elena. A streams. normal week. I know. Yeah. I know. It's very exciting. But you know what I am doing this week, though? <laughs> and I've decided well, that I'm going to do this every week. Because <gasps> I'm going to do one go thing no. for myself. Is he going swimming? Yeah. I might go swim. Oh. I might go for a hike by myself. I nice. might like watch a movie by myself. I just oh. I've decided that I'm going to do actively one thing for myself every week because my therapist news. says I need to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, how do how does one convey my thanks to your therapist? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very good to have me time or a lot of time. Everyone should have it's me like, time. If you if you listen to this, please carve out at least an hour for yourself to like just do so nothing. What's, 
What's really difficult and I what it ended up taking for me for that to really sink in is that like obviously I've known forever and people have said forever like you have to put yourself first you have to look after yourself before you look after other people but like there's certain ways when that's said that makes it unhelpful because I can't at times yeah. you know like at times I'm so with, busy that I can't actually take that time yeah. exactly and then it just makes me feel worse because now it's like well now I'm letting you down kind of by not looking after myself and so now i feel worse about that but my my therapist told me um <laughs> that i often give 90 percent and get 10 percent oh from things yeah. whether it's from like activities or from yeah. people or from friends and that i will never that that will never be more like, that you should never expect to get more from a person than they've ever given you in the past. So, like, I can That's, keep giving 90, yeah. but I can't expect them to give, like, I can't expect 50-50. Yeah. And so... That's okay. Yeah. I can keep giving 90 as long as I'm giving it back to myself. So as long that's as good, I'm yeah. looking after myself, I'm able to keep giving 90%. And that's when, in my yeah, head, it was like, yeah. oh, oh, so if I look after myself, then I can still do nice things for other people because it won't matter yeah. because I'm looking after, I'll have the energy because I've You'll given that to game. myself yeah. first. Yeah. And then I can still give my energy to other people which is something i just genuinely enjoy you multiply your spoons and then doing. you hand them out yeah that's yeah. exactly it so i'm trying i don't know why it took her saying it in that way obviously it's something i've been hearing yeah, and being told and all you this stuff hear, for years you can but... hear stuff a million times and you won't click and then someone says it in a particular way and you go oh wow well, okay that makes sense yeah so that was that was the particular way for me that was like oh, oh. got it there's got a it. and so i'm trying to do one thing a week that yeah. is me focus is nothing to do with anybody else it's just about me it's once. just for me Good. um and that way i can hopefully recharge my batteries a little bit there's one of my favorite songs by bright eyes and uh, connor over's song uh when the break man turns my way and i think i sent this as a quote to you when in the middle of all the partner uh, rejections with <clears throat> the line when panic grips your body and your heart's a hummingbird raven thoughts black in your mind until you're breathing in reverse and all your friends and sedatives mean well but make it worse every insurance just magnifies the doubt you gotta find yourself mm -hmm. some place to level out <laughs> every insurance just magnifies the doubt there you is go. what a line <laughs> yeah. that is yeah he is he has he has some kind of way with no yeah Connor is amazing <laughs> But that has been like my my motto of like when I feel that way, and especially the when raven thoughts black in your mind till you're breathing in reverse. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> it's time What's to the some... line after that? Every insurance just magnifies the doubt. You better find yourself a place to level out. Thank you. I wrote it down. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> I got a lot of of wisdom from from Connor. Bueno. <laughs> bueno. Thank you for that. Yeah. I'm always here for those wisdom me things. I find that like mantras or like certain certain yeah. sentences can really resonate with me. When I was working at um a super stressful job a few years ago, yeah. um something that got me through it was be the river, not the rock. Oh, yeah. Which is, you know, kind yeah. of just like <laughs> You just have to flow around the obstacles yeah. that come your way and flow through them and not be the rock that's standing in the middle trying to stop the river because yeah. you'll never stop the river. You'll only so, get yeah. worn down. Yeah. Be, be the river, not the rock. That's a good saying. Mm -hmm. It was one of those things that like, oh, oh. I like that a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been at it an hour and oh a half God. already. <laughs> how how do we do <laughs> <laughs> it Every feels time, like we just Theo, start talking. Theo, we weren't friends in February. <laughs> no, it's, it's weird. Uh, and you know what you said? You said earlier that like when I was kind of saying how I, you know, I didn't try to get to a certain place. I, yeah. It just happens. I just like do things, and you're like, that means that you're in the right place. Yeah. 
this is going to be cheesy as hell, but you're going to deal with it. I feel like we were supposed to be friends. Yes. And I feel like that's why this has all been so easy. Why it yeah. feels like we've been friends for so much longer. Because is it's, it feels it's like natural. we were supposed to be friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. A very cheesy agree. Yeah. <laughs> A very cheesy agree. But it, yeah, because like from the like Cozy Cola app, just talking there going, wow, yes, I want more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yes. natural where you're going to go, so we're talking about, and we're, we're, we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's been, uh, it's been an honor getting to talk to you every week. We've, this is our 11th episode. It's, it's, it's bananas. <laughs> it's very exciting. I got very Super excited fun. all of a sudden for like our eventual 100th episode. That's oh. gonna be crazy. How cool will that yeah. be? Well, that's incredible. Or, or fifty. Like yeah. yeah. Holy. Fifty is holy also man. amazing. We're a fifth of the way there. That's that's bonkers. And now we've it up to bonkers. one once a week. And people seem to be mm-hmm. happy about this, which makes me very happy. And like the yeah, fact that people is, it, were talking about like, like the fire alarm. <laughs> thank you for, everyone, for uh, thank you for all the positive words that we got from this. It's incredible yeah. to have to because this started as an experiment where we just wanted to see if we could mm-hmm. talk and record this. And how people are listening Clearly to we this, can talk. which is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for for listening and and, and being um, wonderful. Thank you, Theo, for chatting with me thank today. You for having me. Um, if any of our wonderful listeners have any thoughts, be them finished or not, um, you can email us at mostlyfinished yes. at gmail dot com. Um, if we start getting questions and emails through there, then we will add a little email segment to the end of yes. our, our podcast to, to go but over it's... those. Um, and you can also go and find all of our links at yes. linktree, link dot tr, no, linktr.ee <laughs> slash mostly finished. There we go. <laughs> that is linktr.ee slash mostly finished. Um, I'm gonna double check that that's right. Yeah, I'm and, and also you can just check bar. for for Alana Maddie on on, yep. on Twitter and Twitch. On Instagram, she is Alana W Maddie, and I am. Yes, Theodore and we Elby. know what that means now. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, I was right. Link yeah. tr dot ee slash mostly finished, and that's all of our all of our things. That is all the things. <laughs> all of the things um go check out theo's tutorials he's already oh, yes. got one posted and it's oh. lovely go oh. and watch that he's Thank gonna you. film another one this week so yeah. hopefully by the time you listen to this there's another one up there for and you and if you have any questions about guitar playing or you want me to make i'm, I'm clapping because i'm so excited about tutorials because <laughs> like having people interact with it is fun because people want oh yes. i need this and if you have any uh, suggestions for things that you need dear listeners tell me <laughs> either yes. in the comments or or in discord Please and thank yes. you. Yay. Um, have, a, have a great week, y'all. And, have uh, a great week. It's already Tuesday. I was almost <laughs> going to say Wednesday. I really fully thought it was Wednesday for a minute there. It's not. We didn't even say the date. Hello. Oh, it is Tuesday, September the 7th, <laughs> 2021. Oops. <laughs> We're coming to you from the future. Yes. Or your past. Um. Yeah, we are coming to you from the past to tell you it's yes. probably better where you are, but we're not yes. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it is. Yes. And um, uh, make street elephants a horse thing. Make street elephants a horse thing. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>